you've got this very strong, arrogant image on stage. You've, you mm. have put more humour into it. But I mean, is that you, or is that, yeah, a, is that a defense? I have to. No, I have to fight that because well, when I when I am um, actually, uh, if if you're talking in terms of trying to get a relationship together, I'm the nicest person you could meet, my dear. Well, it's I'm just sure that I have also it's that. just in terms of that. But it's just that I ha I am handicapped, and therefore I have to sort of virtually fight my so-called stage persona. Most of the times, it sort of works works against me. That's mm. the thing, and I have to fight that all the time. Mm. Fighting is like I created the monster. I mean, I built myself up for, for one side. But then I have to uh, to find somebody to accept that in terms of a relationship. It's very hard. It's so tried to segregate the two, and um, it's not easy. You know, it's like two sides of a coin. I mean, mm. I think over the years I have become bitter because I sort of learned more, and, and uh, it, it makes you strong. And uh, I have become bitter, and I just sort of I don't trust anybody because they've let me down so many times. Really? Course, yes, we all have. And um, of course, the more you let down, the more you hurt. And so I'm sort of. I feel I'm walking around with scars all over the place, you know, and I just uh, I think I couldn't take another scar. And that's very sad when there's so many people sitting out in that audience that obviously love you, isn't it? This is it. You could be the most lonely person. Or you could be so loved by so many thousands of people, yet could be so, you could be so lonely. And that makes it worse. The frustration of that is even worse, because most people just think that how, how can somebody like Freddie Mercury be lonely because he has money, he has this, he has cars, chauffeurs, uh, the lot. And um, in, in fact, sometimes that kind of loneliness is, is the hardest to bear. Because mm. you don't really belong to anyone, especially. No, I mean, you have to sort of, you know, you have to put your persona and all that. And you have to sort of, um, and I just find that, uh, you know, I find it very hard to open up to people because I don't trust them by myself. So you're really disillusioned at this, uh, with life uh, somewhat, aren't you? Well, yes and no, I'm disillusioned, but yet I think I've got, I've got a, a, a grip on myself. I just seem to be more aware. Mm. Sort of contradiction in terms, isn't it? But it, yeah. it's, it's, but it is true. Sometimes maybe I, I, I wish I didn't talk so much and maybe not talk to people. And just, uh, it's just I seem to find out more and more. And I find the more I find out, the more I realise how how cruel it can be. Mm. Artists do change about their success. It makes yes, them more of course, of course, it's changed. More yeah, arrogant, change, say. Change. It has, yes, of course, mm. it's changed me. But it's, it's gone in sort of two stages. I would be a fool to to actually. Uh, decline the fact that you know it didn't change me in terms of being snobbish and, uh, and arrogant or whatever that was a, a stage the, the first stage of course I was the bee's knees and I thought you know nobody could um, you know, you know just, I just thought I was it but then uh, I've actually come to realizing that I mean success can be handled in a different way and I actually it's coming down to earth I actually sort of pay more attention to actually making people re realize that I'm, I'm I am normal you know what I mean this is such a this shit thing about people thinking, oh, Freddie Mercury, oh, yeah, he won't talk to me. He's, he's... I think I've kept it in balance. And so there are two stages of the thing. Success did change me, and now it's actually changed me yet again. Very much coming down, and I think I seem to cope with it quite well. Mm. I mean, you can't win, darling. You just can't win in my, in my situation. That's the way it is. Mm. You can't win. The bit of happiness I can create is with my money. Okay, the, the money can't buy happiness. It's true. I've written a song called Money Can't Buy Happiness. Yes. But I mean, here I am, the hypocrite, saying that depending on who you are, you can, yeah, sometimes, I mean, it's... You can get happiness, can't you? Yes, that's, that's another form of getting happiness. It's like when yeah. I buy people presents, I, I love it far more than, than maybe they do. I love to see that kind of thing. So. Freddie, do you feel that a lot of people then don't realize the sensitivity within yourself because of this image? I don't think most people realize that at all. Yeah. But I, mean, I don't know sleep over that. I'm, I'm not going to go out looking, you know, looking for barrages of people saying, look, I am, you know, that doesn't worry me. No. It's basically finding um, a few very close people once then. That would be enough, enough for me. Having, trying to get really true friends in this business is very hard. Mm. 